Hey guys, welcome to our channel Coders Arcade. In today's video, I am going to talk about two more commands for validation of an HTML table. So here in this program till now, we have seen how we can count the number of rows and columns, how we can print those number of rows and columns, how we can fetch the data from the given table and how we can verify any data that is written onto some specific row or column. So here we checked about book name in this column number one and here in this one we checked about Mukesh in uh, row number five. So I wanted to show you some more commands regarding this. So there are two more commands that we are going to see today in this video. So first command is table cell should contain and the second one is table header should contain. So let's see first one the table cell should contain. So here I'm going to use this table again in my same website testautomationpractice.blogspot.com in this table uh, let's say we want to let's say amod we want to find that amod is present onto this cell or not this particular cell of this table or not so amod is written onto one two three four five six sixth row and second column so the position for amod this position for the cell in which amod is written is sixth row and second column so i am going to specify that onto my pycharm here first of all i am going to copy the x path for the same table so again i'm going to use the same x path because it is the um, because i'm going to use the same table only and here i'm going to specify the coordinates of that column so in this case first i'm going to write the coordinates of row and then I'm going to write the coordinates of column. So sixth row and one tab space and then second column and then one tab space. I'm going to write here what I wanted to verify. I wanted to verify Amod. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. So now what this command will do is table cell should contain we are going to verify onto this table and then it will going to verify that onto our sixth row and second column and it will verify for Amud. So this is one of the commands for the validation that we are going to see in today. And the second command is table header should contain. And again, I'm going to just copy the same X path here, copy paste and uh, I'm going to give some space and again I'm going to just specify any header that I wanted to confirm. So since I've already told you this first row is th, th means table header and the other ones are the td, td means table data. So the thing that is highlighted is written onto the first row and the things that are highlighted are what we call table header. So we can verify any of these headers we don't have to give the coordinates of any particular header. So it's, let's say I want to specify, let's say subject or I want to specify the book name. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this book name and I am going to paste that book name here. Now what this will do is this will just check the header. If there is any header called book name into this HTML table and it will give us the result that if yes, if yes, there is present, then it, the test will be passed. Otherwise, the test will be failed. So now let's try running this. Here I'm going to write robot, then the name of my file, which is tables.robot. And if I run this, so I have not specified the closed browser yet. So that is why it is not going to close the browser automatically. It is just going to stop and um, its validation should be completed by now. So I'm going to manually close it and you can see a test is passed. So here in this terminal window, you can't see the results properly for these two commands or even for these two commands. What we have to do is we need to go to a projects panel and we need to go see our log file. So I'm going to right click onto my log file and I'm going to click on to open my open in browser and then I'm going to select in Chrome. 
and here are the validation that we perform so all of these are the keywords so keywords are nothing but every command here in this case so keyword section is different but uh, here keyword means all these commands that we are used so if you watch properly keyword open browser keyword maximum maximize browser window all of these are the keywords in log file so you can see table cell should contain is green that means our test is passed so amod was present onto this test and uh, here also in this one table header should contain book name was there so that is why our uh, keyword table header should contain is green if book name was not present there then it it would have given us this red icon right here instead of green and that would tell us that our test uh, test was failed so again i am going to go back to my pycharm and let's say we have completed all our validations now let's say we want to close a browser so i am just going to write here close browser so now our validation is completed it is going to validate all these things and uh, once it is validated it is going to close a browser so again let's see what is program was doing so we have imported our selenium library then and uh, this is our name of our test file our test case and uh, then open browser this will open this this uh, url onto this browser which is chrome browser and once it is loaded it is going to maximize the browser window and after maximizing the browser window it is going to count the number of rows using this command right here so get element count and we have specified this xpath as i have told in my earlier videos we need to write this xpath properly and we made this xpath using our selector sub and then once that element has been counted that number of count will be saved onto this row that we have created this row variable same applies to a column variable again so get element count so this will count the number of columns here and this count will be saved on to dollar column so this is the column variable that we have created for columns count and then we have just printed the rows and the columns now this data has been used to fetch the data of any particular cell so any from any coordinate we can fetch that particular data so using the sex path from this coordinates and this data then we were using these commands for validation process so table column should contain x path of that and uh, then specifying the column and the value that we are expecting so book name on onto column 1 so it is going to verify that this book name is present onto a column 1 or not and then this is going to validate if mukesh is written onto a row number 5 here and then this one is going to check for if amod is written onto this cell coordinate or not so sixth row and uh, second column so this row is very important so it is first we need to specify the row and then the column if you specify the column here and then the row it is going to revert the coordinate so suppose if you write here 2 and 6 then it is going to point out to some different values so 2 it will take as a row and 6 it will take as column then table header should contain and we have expected the value book name onto a table header and then close browser so let us check it one more time by running this code again so it is opened a browser maximize the browser window once the validation process is completed is going to close our browser so it is closed our browser right here so our test is passed and again if you check our log file i'm just going to open it into our browser you can see here everything is passed so close browser is also added on to this log file if you see in this other log close browser was not this i'm going to close this one this is our latest log file so everything is passed that is why every keyword is represented in a green color so this is all about this video guys i hope you have understood what i wanted to 
tell you in this video about table validation. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. So this is all about this video guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video and if you like it then tell us in the comment section below. If you have any doubts then post them in the comment section. I will definitely try to clear those doubts. Also like, share and subscribe to our channel Coders Arcade and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification when we post our new video. Thank you. Happy learning.